Good day everybody, it is Zalinka, and today I wanted to do a 20 questions get to know me tag. One of my YouTuber friends did this tag, and so I thought it would be fun for me to do as well. And I didn't come up with any answers yet, so we're just gonna see where this is gonna go as far as my answers. These are 20 questions of random things, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, question number one. Things you cannot leave the house without. I can't leave without my phone. I go through withdrawals throughout the day if I go to work and I have left my phone at home because I can't just drive home and get my phone. Question number two. Favorite brand of makeup. <sighs> Favorite brand, I would have to say, would be Urban Decay, uh, Too Faced, um, am I only supposed to pick one? Like Urban Decay and Too Faced are the ones that I have most of. They are my favorite. Depends on what I'm purchasing is what brand I'm gonna grab. Favorite flowers. I love Stargazer Lilies. I have a Stargazer Lily tattoo on my back, which I will be doing a tattoo tag coming up very soon. And so you can see it then. I'm not gonna show you now because it's not very impressive. The yeah, Star Stargazer Lilies are my all-time favorite flower. They are absolutely beautiful. Beautiful and so romantic. Question number four, favorite clothing stores? Um, Maurice's. I like to go to Maurice's uh, if I want to like shop expensively. I um, am pretty down to earth. Like Ross, I know that sounds, I know it sounds kind of ghetto, but Ross, they sometimes do have good spring dresses for cheap. Favorite perfume. Since I was 17, I've been wearing this perfume forever. And it is the Ralph Lauren, the blue bottle. Ugh. This smells so good. If you never, if you've lived under a rock and you've never smelled this, like I think this is the perfume of the 2000 range. <laughs> um, like this is what you would get to impress. And I've just been so connected with this perfume ever since. It's hard for me not to purchase it, but it smells so sweet, so floral. Um, more so sweet and that's what I look for in a perfume because if it's too florally I just feel like I'm an old lady oh I love it heels or flats I'm more flats I wear heels when I have like a girl's night out or a night, a night out with my husband, but all in all, I mainly wear flats or bobs. I'm not really experienced in heels. As one of my friends told me that if I want to be experienced in heels, run in them before you walk. I did that and I twisted my ankle, <laughs> so. I'm not very experienced in heels, and so I just am more comfortable with flats. Question number seven, do you make good grades? Um, I'm out of school. Question number eight, favorite colors. My favorite colors is pink and black and white with pink and black and white and black and I, oh, polka dots. Question number nine, do you ever drink energy drinks? No, those are way too sugary. I have uh, high blood pressure anyway, and so I don't really want to drink a drink that's gonna make my heart race and get me hyper the rest of the day. Coffee is fine with me. I can't drink energy drinks. I think the only time that I drink an energy drink is in a Tic Tac because I kind of have to and those are delicious, um, but not by itself. Question number 10, do you drink juice? Yeah, I do. When I feel very dehydrated, I drink juice, apple juice, V8 juice, yeah. Question number 11, do you like swimming? 
I do, but not in public pools. So I don't really swim too often. I have like this thing with public pools, especially because I live in an apartment complex. I know the people who live here and I do not want to be swimming in their feces and in their pee and what's coming out of their body. I rather just stay clean and swim elsewhere. Question number 12, do you eat fries with a fork? Does, uh, who, why, why would you? Like, I, I don't understand this question. What is your favorite moisturizer? I have a few, uh, but I think my favorite right now is, of course, First Aid moisturizer. Uh, the First Aid brand is so impressive to me. I, I love it. I do like Benefit's facial moisturizer right now. It's more of like a balm texture to it and I like that because it feels like it's putting a mask on my face and it's really um, keeping the, the hydration in on my face so I do like that. Question number 14, do you want to get married later in life? Now I've been married twice, I'm still with my second husband, still, <laughs> like I'm, I'm still with him, <laughs> yay! Uh, one point for Zelenka because she still is with her second marriage, yeah so I'm, st <laughs> I'm still in my second marriage and we have been married for about seven. I think this is the seventh year that we've been married. We've been together for this will be the 10th year together. So yeah, I think we're in it for the long haul. Do you get mad easily? It depends on who is upsetting me. With my son, no, I don't. I'm very patient with him. With my husband, yes. Question number 16, are you into ghost hunting? I would like to go. I It would terrify me, but I would like to have that experience. I used to watch like ghost hunter shows and things like that. I've had a few paranormal experiences myself, um, spiritual experiences, things of that nature. So I'm uh, very skeptical of a lot of it though, because I, I think when somebody's like, oh, there's an orb in this picture, but no girl, that's just a glare from the light that's right up there like it, I I like to read into the picture before I just jump to the conclusion of it being a supernatural or paranormal whatever recently debating going to a psychiat psychiatrist <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm a little crazy moving on do you have any phobias <sighs> I don't know if this is a phobia but I do have a thing with a uh, couple of things to have a thing with a thing and the thing is a very big thing and I don't even put my thing near that thing. I have a phobia with dark water so anything that any ocean open water is fine uh, okay I just freaked myself out <laughs> if I was sitting in the middle of open water and I didn't see any land around me I'd probably freak out but dark water terrifies me only because I do have a fear of octopus midnight zone of the ocean creatures like those I can't I can't watch that even swimming pools like if I go into a swimming pool and I go in the deep end and it's dark down there I'm fine at first I'm swimming around but if I start thinking about it, it I just freak out and I start going through an anxiety attack and I have to get to a ladder to climb out as soon as possible so I don't know I it has to be a phobia that has to be but I don't know what it's called maybe I'll look it up and if I find it I'll put it right here what my phobia is but it's a thing it has to be do you bite your nails I did up until a month and a half ago I'm happy to announce that I am done biting my nails my goodness like I am so proud of myself so proud look at this it's, it's little it's white they're so pretty. I figured that since I want to get into the field of being a certified esthetician, I have to really um, look the part, as in look healthier. And having nails that are chewed off, it doesn't really look that healthy. So I'm actually very proud of these being my natural nails. I took vitamins to harden up my nails. I put on the stinky stuff. I put on like the Sally Hansen hard shell stuff as well. Finally, I am not biting my nails for a month and a half. Have you ever had a near-death experience? Yes, I've had two. 
Uh, the first one was with a pack of dogs. About seven years old and there were these stray dogs in my area and I was out playing and one of the dogs came up to me and just kind of was looking at me, wasn't really friendly at all. And as I was, they kind of did like a raptor thing. So when I was staring at this one dog, I suddenly realized that there were three other dogs surrounding behind and around me and they were all showing teeth and about ready to um, launch at me and my <laughs> mom came out swinging a broom to try and get the dogs away and they were actually just creeping up closer to me. I was uh, on the side of the road, a man with a car came by and just was like honking his horn. I don't know to get the dogs out of the road or whatnot, but that made the dogs run away and I ran into the house. I was terrified. I think that if got, that guy did not drive by, I probably would have been mauled by this group of dogs because they were a, um, a pack and they were just bullies because they did kill a um, dog in our community. They attacked another little dog and actually killed it unfortunately. So I count myself lucky with that one. And no, I am not scared of dogs. I absolutely love dogs. And the last question number 20, do you drink coffee? I have said before that, you know, just put the IV in me uh, and I'll be good to go. But you can't enjoy an IV, the flavor, the drag that you take with the first sip. Oh, it's so refreshing. I have to get my coffee extra, extra, extra hot. That way I can sip it for a couple hours. It's a comfort for me. It soothes me, soothes. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video to get to know me a little bit more. If you are not yet subscribed, make sure you do so on your way out. If you guys are doing these 20 questions, then definitely let me know. I want to watch it because I like to watch these videos and get to know YouTubers a little bit better of their life and where they came from and how they got there. If you enjoyed this video, just hit a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a fantabulous day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.